Hello, my most amazing artist. Um, this week we are doing sculpture. It's a little bit different because obviously in the classroom we would be using clay and having a little bit more fun than you, what you might be able to do at home. Um, we are doing a abstract movement paper sculpture that I'm going to show you how to create. If you have clay or if you have the materials to make clay, I'm going to post how to make like air dry clay or oven clay. If you have Play-Doh at home that you could use to create a sculpture, if you have Legos at home that you can use to create a sculpture, any of those things, I'm going to give you a few different options this week. Um, so if you do have clay, you are free to create um, any type of sculpture that you would like. I'll give you a little bit of guidance in the folder. Um, so make sure you're looking through everything in the folders on Schoology. <clears throat> but I'm gonna show you how to create this abstract movement sculpture with just paper, pencil, and a glue stick. If you don't have a glue stick, um, don't worry about it. You can just sit the paper down and then take a picture of it. Um, if you don't have paper or scissors and you need another option, go ahead and reach out to me, send me an email, and I will give you another option. Um, I'm gonna be using plain white paper and I'm going to be putting random color all over it really quickly, just so our sculpture is not um, white. If you want to use colored paper, you can do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just put some swirlies all over this paper with some different colors. You are going to be cutting it in a bunch of different directions. So your designs are not really going to stay where you put them. So that's why I'm just being free with my color all over. All right, so I have some color on my paper, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut my paper into about one inch strips, and that is about this big, and I'm going to do scissors. I'm going to do a couple in different directions. And we're going to do some longer ones. Right, and then after you cut it into strips on your piece of paper, you are going to cut little lines about halfway into the one inch strip. So you're gonna go like this, and then halfway you're gonna stop, and you're gonna put a bunch of lines into your papers. Not right the second. And then your paper, when you're done putting the cuts, you're going to go ahead and the papers are going to be one side. Um, you're gonna fold it over onto one side and then you're gonna fold it the opposite direction, just like this. And then you're gonna do that for all of your strips. I'm probably just gonna put three strips on my paper. All right, now I'm going to fold over all of the edges. Just like this, this is what it's gonna look like when you're done. And then you're going to be able to put them on your paper. I'm gonna go ahead and finish folding all of them first and then I'm gonna show you how to put them on your paper and create the abstract movement sculpture. Like 
that. All right, I'm only going to do three of them, and I don't have a glue stick, but I have a glue bottle, and I'm going to go ahead and glue them on my paper in different directions. Help me. I'll show you when I'm done. So if I want my paper to be like this, then I can kind of swirl it around and glue it down just like that. So the flat pieces are going to be on the paper, and you're going to add a little bit of glue to each little section. And it's going to look something like this. And then you would do that all over your paper. I'm going to show you the other two. And you would try to fill in your whole paper with all of the other strips. I only did three as an example, but you should have at least five, six strips of paper on your paper. And so this is my example. You can use colored construction paper if you would want to use it instead of white paper. Um, you can go ahead and color after the glue is dried. You can go ahead and color all over it. Um, you can do whatever you would like and then make sure you go ahead and take your picture of it and s submit it onto the media album in Schoology. And remember, this is an option if all you have is paper. If you do have the resources and other materials to create the other sculptures, feel free to do that instead of a paper sculpture. I can't wait to see the art that you guys create. I love you guys. I miss you guys. Stay creative and stay positive.